Hi guys, I just came through because I was minding my own business and I turned on the TV and I saw all about Diddy and his apology. I went on the YouTube streets and that's all they've been talking about is Diddy and his apologies. So I said I have to get on because I did briefly discuss Diddy in my celebrity gossip this week and so if you didn't see it watch this video it's a great video i did talk about diddy and the cassie video so i was like wow <laughs> i wasn't expecting him to put out an apology this fast did it work for him are people being forgiving Will this help his case? These are the questions that came to mind. And so we'll talk about it right after I show you the video of his apology. And so stay tuned. There's times in your life, sometimes you got to do that. I was f***ed up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. And I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. I'm going to rehab. Had asked God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Okay, guys, so it was mixed reviews on whether people forgave him or not. Some people forgave him. Some people are like, hey, people in relationships, sometimes they're toxic and sometimes it leads to the woman getting her behind whooped. He apologized. He said he was sorry. He looked sorry enough, right? Well, I'm going to have to disagree. I feel like if he was truly sorry and he wanted to, and he say, now I'm getting the help, I'm going to therapy, um, and all of, and he has a rehab for drugs. Well, let me let you know this. The video was from 2016, okay? And they said that Cassie had to stay in a hotel for weeks because her face was that messed up. That said, after that, he took her to, I think it was the Matt Galley Ball or something like that. And act like nothing happened. They stayed together for two more years after that. Never once did he go get help. Never once did he feel bad beating her behind. So, I'm sorry. I just feel like that fake apology was just that fake now i hope that he is really getting the help that he needs because evidently he's a disturbed man evidently he does have drug issues and he really do need all the help but i just think he was sorry that now people see his ugly ugly side of him the monster side so now <laughs> the monster is not lo no longer in the basement the monster is no longer under your bed the monster now is in your face and that face of Diddy's, we saw his true self the monster that sits up and beats women now what it help his case of course, 
not. Let me just say this. Sources say, CNN sources uh, said that the feds leaked this video. Okay? And they leaked it just to see how he was going to react, what he was going to do, and just to let the world know something about what's happening with Diddy. Now, they said he couldn't mention Cassie's name because some people was like, well, he didn't even say, I'm sorry, Cassie, because of the lawsuit. Now, if those that didn't know, Cassie is going to be a star witness on trial when they take him to trial. And by the FBI linking her the video, it's going to give proof that as a witness, she's telling the truth. And if she's telling the truth about this, then she's probably going to be telling the truth about other things that he's being accused of, like sex trafficking. That video really is bad for Diddy because it shows that he has the mannerism of a man that do the sex trafficking. Now, sources have said that he told people that Diddy, that, that he beat up Cassie, he was angry because she stole $100,000 worth of money and jewelry from his hotel suite. And then when he found out, he ran down the hallway. This is the story he's giving. Whether it's true or not, I really don't know. But at the end of the day, this man is worth supposedly a hundred a, a billionaire who a hundred thousand dollars to him is nothing but a hundred dollars. And as bad as he did this girl, you gonna beat her down to the ground because of that? No, I, I, I really don't believe that's what happened. But even if it did, that's no reason. It's no reason to for a man to hit a woman, not alone beat and stomp a woman down like he did her. And that happened on a regular basis. So, that shows that he has the characteristic of somebody that can run a sex trafficking business. Violence. And violence against, against women. And so... I don't one bit believe that he's sorry for it. I think he's sorry for for being caught. I feel like we are now seeing the true. I don't know if it's, he called himself Diddy, Puffy, Combs, Love. This man <laughs> probably had, it might be a psychopath, all the different names he's had out there. But I'm glad that he's getting help. I'm going to say that. And I pray that he gets himself together. And so that man will definitely be, I believe, going to trial. And we just have to wait and see what happens. But they I also they also think that he put out the apology, not for Cassie, not even for the world. But he put it out there for those celebrities, those high-profile celebrities, so they can, hopefully, he thinks that this will get them to stand up for him and say, oh, well, you know, he was on drugs. He, you know, he needed counseling to get the sympathy for his high-profile friends so that they can stand up and rally for him. But <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. I don't even think his best friend Jay-Z will ever be seen on camera with Diddy. Honey, Diddy is by himself and nobody's going to be standing up for him. So, all I can say is this. I think his apology was phony. What do you think? Leave comments down in the in the description. Leave comments down about how you feel about it. Do you think that he should be forgiven? Do you forgive him? Do you think his apology was genuine? Leave some comments 
in the bottom and I'll be checking them and thank you for watching my channel.